to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Treasure, your new favorite mental health girly. Welcome, babe. This is a weekend in my life because we got things to do, babe. Right now, um, it is like, I want to say maybe like 9 o'clock. It is Saturday. Um, I have an event to go to at 12. My friend, um, is hosting an event so i'll be going to that but before i start getting ready i wanted to clean the kitchen because this week has been me trying to get back on track and i've done some things but just not as much as i would like and part of the reason is when you know the space your environment isn't like everything in order my brain is not in order so i'm gonna start with cleaning the kitchen because when i'm done and i like get back home i know i'm not gonna want to do it so we're gonna do it now then we're gonna get ready for the event and i was like you know what let me just start the vlog now have a little cleaning moment with my babes and get our lives back together so if you need it this is your sign this is your motivation to get up and clean at least one space in your house and get your mind refreshed so when monday comes around you're ready to go babe so i'm gonna clean off the counter um and there are some dishes that are in the dishwasher that are dirty so i'm gonna start the dishwasher um, I really need to make this juice because I have like the fruit here and I just haven't done it yet. I need to cut those pineapples before they go bad. So I'm going to clean the counter off or first I'm going to start the dishwasher. Then I'm going to clean the counter off. Then we're going to make the juice. Clean up the living room a bit. It's not really dirty. Just like straightening and then go ahead and start getting ready. Can you pop this girl? Maybe I should. I met him in Philly, and her name was Brian Shook. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing. What I miss, won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to be.
way more than what I thought I was doing. But it's fine because the kitchen is looking good. But now I don't have time to do any other cleaning. So I'm just going to straighten the living room really quick. And then I'm only going to cut up the pineapple. And then I'll just have to make the juice when I get back home because I don't have time right now. Um, and take, making the juice because I need to make two different ones takes a long time. So straighten that, cut this up, and then we're going to get ready because I'm about an hour. Am I the only one that was singing that song as a little girl having no business singing that song? Yeah. Anyways, um, it is 10.20 right now. I am done cleaning. I'm not done cleaning, but I'm done cleaning because I don't have more time. Um, I'm getting ready to go get ready. I have no idea what I'm wearing. I may wear jeans, which is a big deal because I don't wear jeans. <laughs> um, but yeah, so gonna go get ready to go and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm either on my way or there or whatever happens happens but I will talk to you guys in a yesterday which i'm so proud of myself for actually putting real clothes on because it's something that i obviously haven't been doing but recently i have you know been telling myself like you need to actually put clothes on when you go outside so i'm definitely trying i didn't end up in jeans because it's a stretch it's a stretch for me to wear jeans i attempted i was this close but ended up changing I liked my outfit. I thought it ended up being really cute. 
the pants that I had on were really comfortable, but also um, looked like something, so I looked put together. So that was nice. It's a start. Eventually, we'll end up in jeans, but yesterday was not the day. Um, yeah, but anyways, I still did not cut the pineapple yesterday. I got so carried away with cleaning that I like lost track of time and so I just didn't have time to do it or I was going to be late. So I'm going to finish cleaning the kitchen. It's just a few more things that I need to do and then um, cut this pineapple. I'll probably, mm, no I probably won't make the juice right now, but I definitely am going to cut the pineapple. I also need to bake um, some cupcakes for um, my niece's birthday party today. Um, oh shoot, I forgot I need to go to Target to get a gift bag because I didn't get one. I need to go to the grocery store because I need a couple things for the cupcakes and then I need to go to Target for a gift bag. I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to be stressed about time again because I don't know that I have enough time to do all this stuff. Or maybe I can just get the gift bag on the way. Because there's a grocery store right next to my house, so I don't really have to go far for that. But Target, not that Target's too far, but it's still not next door. Mm. we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens i'm not gonna stress myself out things will come together it'll be fine but um i'm watching sunday service while i'm cleaning it hasn't started yet but it's on they're still doing like the morning part i guess the pastor hasn't started talking yet so um, I just, I couldn't remember what time it starts, so I was like, well, I'm gonna just put it on and have it on until it comes on, because I don't want to miss it, but anyways, um, gonna finish, clean. I really just need to wash these, like, big, um, deep fryer, and then I think there's something else big in there that I need to wash, and then I'll be done. Oh, I need to wash, I haven't had coffee yet. Maybe that's why I'm like all over the place. My brain is like, you know, I need to make some coffee, but I need to wash the coffee pot. So let me do that. Get my brain in order and then um, probably go to cut the pineapple and then go to the grocery store after. Um, so I can start baking the cupcakes. Yeah, let's do that. Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hits a block on my face on us Man, a house and road, but this shit too flush Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Why I'm by the flash, man, I cheeks get mumped Niggas gotta move on my release day home Bitch, this is fame, not clout I don't even know what that's about, watch him out Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell a shit, it is what it is Said what I had to and did what I did Never turn my back on every kid, got some kids Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping, was okay, so what? Someone hit the block on my tape, froze us Man, a house in Rose, but this shit too plush
finally done cleaning the kitchen and it looks so good. Everything is clear and clean and just lovely. But now I need to cut this pineapple. So let's cut. but um, I'm gonna make a pasta tonight so spinach for that I needed some cupcake liners because I didn't remember if I had enough I got some turkey bacon for breakfast that I'm gonna make right now some eggs I don't prefer brown eggs but I will take organic brown eggs over the regular eggs it may just be in my head, but they taste different to me, and I already don't like eggs, so, yeah. Um, some broccoli, also for the pasta. Some red potatoes for breakfast. I got some chocolate chip cookies for dessert tonight. I should have got some ice cream. That would have been so good. Anyways, um unsalted butter for the cupcakes noodles for the pasta I got some watermelon for the breakfast uh -oh. croissants also for breakfast and heavy cream for the whipped cream frosting and then lastly, I got some more creamer because we are about to be out. And some milk because I need milk for the cupcakes. And they didn't have a smaller one, so I just got that. But that is everything. Um, I'm getting ready to go ahead and get all the stuff out that I need for the cupcakes. Prep that while I'm cooking breakfast. I'm a little stressed because I feel like I'm going to be all over the place, but we're going to get through it. God is with me. Um, sorry, my friend texted me. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead, make breakfast, 
stuff the cupcakes i don't know how much of it i'm gonna be able to vlog because i'm looking right now and my memory card only has 21 minutes left so i will probably just get like little short clips <laughs> just finished baking the cupcakes i haven't made the um the whipped cream frosting yet i'm gonna do it after i'm done getting ready but i forgot to vlog while i was baking so there's that i will try to remember to vlog the frosting part um but i'm getting ready to take a shower get ready and then I'm going to make the frosting ice cupcakes and then be ready to go. Um, my SD card has literally 12 minutes left on it. So I probably will not bring my camera with me when I um, leave. I'll probably just vlog off my phone because I'm not going to have time to download everything to my laptop before leaving so yeah but it'll be fine um yeah so let's go ahead and get ready i am wearing something super simple today because i'm going to the park and then to my friend's house after so i'm just wearing this black um t-shirt like that really soft material, a pair of leggings, and this cardigan. I haven't worn yet, and I've been dying to wear it. And then some slouchy socks and my Tasman Ugg slippers. So, yeah, super simple. Got the idea off Pinterest. Um, hopefully it looks as cute as on me as it did on the girl, but we'll see because... I don't have any other option prepared, so we're probably just going to go with it regardless. So yeah, let's go ahead and get ready. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, got dressed. I'm gonna, I am running so behind and I still need to bake, I mean not bake, I still need to make the um, frosting. Which, that doesn't take too long, but I forgot that I also need to stop at Target to get a gift bag. So, I'm rushing. Per usual, like, what's new? It's so hard for me to be on time when I think I have more time than I do when I'm, like, got other stuff to do. And I hate being late. Like, it gives me so much anxiety to be late. So, I don't understand why... I don't give myself, well, I think I'm giving myself more time, and I actually am not, so there's that. But, yeah, I'm going to just put everything on, and then go upstairs and do that, so when I'm done, I can just load the car and be on my way. I don't know why, but I thought this sweater was bigger like more you get what i'm saying like not so fitted i don't know okay i have another option so we're just gonna go with it but uh, yeah let me this is the fragrance ysl i don't know which one sorry can't help Thank <laughs> you. 
I love how it smells though. It smells so good. This is the Fitch. Can you see? Let's see now a little bit. Okay. So, sweater is from Fashion Nova, I think. Um, top is Shein, I believe. Leggings, probably also Shein. My Tasman Ugg slippers, my socks, Target. And my headband is from Amazon. Yeah. Um, I just have these hoop earrings on from Amazon, my Apple Watch, my bracelets. That's what I'm forgetting. Okay, I was trying to show you guys my jewelry, but let me do it in better light. So, my bracelet is from Amazon, Amazon, Tory Burch, Swarovski. Both of my other rings are from Amazon. My earrings are also from Amazon. Um, this one is from my dad's jeweler. And this one, my boyfriend got me, I think, for Christmas. It may have been for Christmas a couple of years ago. I'm lying. It was, I think it was last year. Um, but yeah. And then that's, yeah, that's all my jewelry. I usually have like five necklaces on, but I took the rest of them off and then I just have these two. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into making this frosting really quick. I put the cupcakes over here to like cool down because you cannot put um, frosting on warm or hot cupcakes. They will melt. Okay, so all you need for whipped cream frosting is some heavy cream, vanilla. I prefer um, pure vanilla. Y'all can't even see me. I prefer pure vanilla extract and then either powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. Um, I usually prefer confectioner sugar. I mean, yeah, confectioner sugar. But when I think I got this from Target and they didn't have that, they only had powdered sugar. You can use either or. It really doesn't matter. It's just the consistency of it that's a little bit different. Only thing, I cannot tell you measurements because I don't know. I just listen to what my heart tells me and I go with that. But I can link a whipped cream frosting. Um, recipe if you guys want let me know in the comments i can do that um the same for the vanilla cupcakes that i made today i did a completely different recipe that i've never done before and i think i like this so we're gonna see how it, it tastes like with the whipped cream and everything on it and then if so i will link that recipe too so yeah so we're gonna do about that much heavy cream it's kind of like it's i think it's about one third of that and then about one teaspoon of vanilla and then and then i'm gonna try to tell you guys uh maybe one third cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar and then really uh oh uh oh okay and then we're going to turn this on really with the confectioner sugar I will start with a little and then add because I don't like it to be too sweet I hope you guys can hear me that mixer is so loud um so I'll like taste it as it's mixing to see like flavor wise. Um, but I always do about probably one teaspoon of vanilla and then just add confectioner sugar as needed. Now you're going to let the mixer go on, I put it on six um, until it fluffs and you have like peaks. I'll show you guys what I mean by that, but just let it go, don't stop it. And you have to be very careful to not over mix it or it will curdle. Well, this is an example of what you don't want it to look like. I over mix it a little bit because I walked away from it. This is still salvageable, but I do not recommend this. Do not over mix it to look like this. I also cannot find my tips 
for the bag, but it's okay. We can improvise. I just cut the tip out and then just did smaller than I would usually do if I had a um, tip. But let me just show y'all a couple of the cupcakes just because my thing is on two minutes. So let me just do a couple for you. Happy Monday. Um, I just made myself a iced coffee. It is like four thirty in the afternoon. Um, I did not vlog, uh, last night after I left, um, to go to the birthday party and then I went to my friend's house after and we like watched the Super Bowl. I wanted to close the vlog out, but before I did, I wanted to just give like a update, if you will, or a little bit of event session i guess whatever you want to call it but basically i just wanted to talk to you guys because i feel like i have mentioned before about how hard it is for me to like be outside and go hang out and just like be around people after being in the house for five years um and so i've been trying to like work myself up to forcing myself to go outside but still like within my limits where I'm not like in overkill. So I've been, you know, working on it. And this weekend, um, I was out all day Saturday, I think all day Saturday, and then yesterday basically all day. And then tomorrow going to Disneyland and I haven't had a like jam-packed weekend like that in a really long time. So I anticipated myself to like crash really hard today because I didn't have anywhere to be today. And not that it may not happen on Wednesday since I still have something to do tomorrow, but I didn't crash today. And I'm really happy that I didn't because I feel like maybe just maybe that's a turning point and I'm you know building up my tolerance for like being able to be out and be around people without being completely drained the next day or like my next free day where I don't have anything to do so I wanted to share that with you guys um just because it's a it's a milestone for me to not have been super drained um and not that I wasn't tired because I definitely was tired I got home I think at like 12 last night and I didn't go to sleep until like 1 30 maybe and then I woke up at 5 so I didn't get a lot of sleep so I definitely was tired when I woke up but I wasn't drained in the sense of like I just slept all day or I just was groggy and didn't want to like move around all day I actually did a, a little bit of you know some stuff today so it just shows me that I am getting better every day and even though I am not depressed anymore it's still work to have to reacclimate myself to the world and to people and to myself so just acknowledging the milestone and acknowledging the progress and the effort is really important part of my journey especially for me because i suck at like acknowledging my own wins so i wanted to share that because i am actually proud of myself happy for myself that that's where i am right now if you are also in a 
headspace where you just come out of depression or maybe you weren't depressed but you just you know you've had a, a span of time where you just didn't want to be around people and you were just like to yourself and now you're trying to get back outside and do fun things just to be patient with yourself i know that it can be really hard to be patient just because you could possibly be comparing yourself now to yourself before but you have to understand that those are two completely different people you are not who you were before you're a completely new person so you're learning you know new things about yourself because you are a new person so just to be patient and know that the time will come when you know you make progress and you're able to see the progress it's been probably six seven it's been eight months since i was able to recognize that i wasn't depressed anymore and only now am i seeing a difference in me not being completely drained after hanging out and i have hung out before where it was just one day and it was still like too much for me so for me to be able to do it for two days in a row means a lot and shows a lot and you know letting you guys know that it took eight months for me to get here like time there in in these situations there is no concept of time like you just have to be patient with yourself and let things happen as they happen and believe me i know that that's hard because it's hard for me to accept and like deal with that but this is a testament that everything happens when it's supposed to god has a plan and you know when he's ready for me to you know make another stride another step forward he will show me that he will help me through it so just like acknowledging the growth and that i have made some progress is really important so and maybe that helps someone else if you're watching this and you can identify you know just be patient with yourself and know that your time will come and if it has already come and you have noticed that good for you babe love that for you sending you all the good vibes and make sure that you are acknowledging your wins celebrating your wins and being proud of yourself because you did that I want to go ahead and close out the vlog so we can start a new one. Thank you so much for spending the weekend with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, babe.